Hello friends, welcome back to All in On Law. This is a medical video lecture. Orthopedics. And today I'm going to talk about fracture of head of head of the radius. Okay, so this fracture is seen in adults as we see in contrast to what we call the fracture of the neck of the radius which occurs in the children and this type of fracture is seen in adults. Okay, let's talk about the what's the fracture of this. You know the head is deformed because of the scattering of fragments. Sometimes a fragment of the bone becomes loose and lies inside the elbow joint. Okay, the fracture of what you call um, this head of the radius uh, has a different types okay known as the three three different types of uh, fracture of the radius head of the radius that's simple fracture there's a crack only what you call okay and the other type is a fragment of the head is broken off okay or the most common type is comminuted fracture comminuted fracture what are the signs and symptoms since this fracture is what you call missed in a diagnosis because the patient usually don't have so what you call the prominent sign and symptoms they will only have mild pain or swelling over the lateral aspect of the elbow okay a localized tenderness over the head of the radius can be there, right? And it is located immediately distal to the what you call lateral epicondyle in a semi flexed elbow. Okay, and the painful forearm rotations are useful signs. Remember, when you do try to do the what you call uh, forearm rotation, there will be a painful, there will be a pain. Okay, so how do you treat it? What's the treatment for this fracture? Well, let me show you. Hmm. Oh, this is a type of fracture okay so sometimes a community fracture multiple fractures crack only right so it all depends right so what happens how do you treat it oh it all depends on the type of fracture as we say the type 1 that is the only crack is there okay so what you have to do is just immobilize the elbow joint by what you call above elbow plaster slab for two weeks with elbow at 90 degrees of flexion and the forearm in the mid pronations so let me write over here so that you should click if it's a type 1 that's a just crack so what you have to do is immobilize the elbow immobilize the elbow okay and put the what you call above elbow plaster above elbow plaster slab above elbow plaster slab for two weeks what should be the position of that what you call um, slab is 90 degrees of flexion at elbow 90 degrees flexion okay and forearm in mid pronation and forearm in mid pronation Okay, not full pronation, it's a mid pronation. Okay, guys. Now, the type 2 that's a fragment of the head is broken off. If the fragment is a less than one third the size of the head, it can be treated as above that's uh, immobilizing the above elbow plaster with uh, what you call two weeks of uh, period in uh, keeping the elbow in 90 degrees flexion and uh, forearm in mid pronation okay if it's less than one third of one third of the size of the head if it's a more than one third of the size or if it is lying loose inside the joint it needs what excision
okay and if it's a comminuted fracture with the displacement that's a type 3 then you have to treat it by what called excision of the head right so what are the complications there are only two complications one is a joint stiffness okay there can be a limitation of what you call supination and pronation of uh, the forearm okay and what you have to do for that is just treat it with the physiotherapy if there is an osteoarthritis they can, the patients can develop later osteoarthritis as a second complication okay so this is about the brief discussion about the fracture of the radius of the head fracture of the head of the radius thank you so much for watching this video take care